Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Julie here, also known as Mrs. England's Emporium. And Freddie. <laughs> Say hi to Freddie in the comments. Anyway, this is a bit of a special video. Um, it's going to be focusing on one thing only. And that is a mystery box. So, cut a long story short, one of my lovely subscribers, Noel Matthews, thank you Noel, has sent me a huge mystery box. I haven't opened it, it is on the bed now, not opened, and I am going to open it live on this video. So the reactions you see will be genuine. I have never opened this before, I don't know what's in it. All I know is that Noel has sent me this, and I'm really, really, really excited to open it and see what's in there. So, yeah, let's get into it. Um, if you enjoy this video, please consider giving me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Why not? Um, yeah, I always do that, don't I? <laughs> It'll get old at some point. Probably has already. Don't say anything in the comments. And um, yeah, hit the bell if you want notifications of videos. Or if you just subscribe and just look on my channel when you feel like it and binge watch, that's okay too. I do that with a lot of people. Right, so thank you again, Noel. This means the world to me. I'm really excited to open it. <sighs> I'm nervous and I'm excited. I hope you all enjoy it anyway. Leave me notes, messages, comments to let me know what you think of this and if you want me to do more videos like this in the future. Let's get into it. So here is the Youngmongers box. <laughs> it's really heavy. I have no idea what is in here. It is still sealed. I have not opened it. Um, so yeah, let's get into it and see what's in it. I'm so excited. I love doing stuff like this. It's been a long, long time since I have done a mystery box. So oh, let's get it open, see what's in it. I ain't got any scissors. I've come completely unprepared and the camera's going to bounce all over because the stand is on the bed. So I do apologise for that now. Okay. This is going to be fun. So this is going to be quite a long video. And um, what I'll probably do is, if it goes on for too long, I may do it in two bits. So we'll see. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. This is, um, oh. Right, okay. Well, I've got a plastic bag, which is always useful. I love plastic bags. Another plastic bag. <laughs> You're all going to think I'm mad. But plastic bags are hard come by in this house, so I'm really pleased. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Let's have a look. We've got an Avengers scooter. How cool is that? That's really cool. Wow. Well, my son has got exactly the same one as this, but Spider-Man. So that's really cool. So yeah, that's amazing. I'll be able to get good money for this at Christmas, I would have thought. I can't remember how much I bought Dexter's for. Let's see if I can quickly, can I open it? No, it's taped up. Um, but yeah, well that's a great start, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how much they're worth, but yeah, really happy with that. Ooh, what's this? PlayStation inflatable chair. <laughs> now that is really cool. No, you have really outdone yourself. Thank you so much. I don't know what I was expecting, but I want I wasn't expecting anything like this. This is brilliant. Thank you. So I don't know how much these are worth either. I'm gonna have to do a bit of research on this sort of thing, but look at that, that's so cool. That guy there looks a bit like George Ross. <laughs> that's real cool. I have to make sure my son doesn't see that because he'll want it. He will want to keep it. Right, what have we got here? Next thing, which is in a bag. Let's have a look. James Aubrey, made in Britain. 
XXL men's jumper. Wow, that's nice. Look at that. I think Rob will like this. Let's have a look at the material content. So, oh, 100% merino wool, size two, whatever that is. Um, oh, XXL. <laughs> Dopey. Wow, that's really nice. It looks immaculate. Lovely. Really like that. Rob gets excited about merino wool, so he will really like that. Oh, what's this? Oh, doggy ornament. Look at this. I so badly want a dog. So these may end up staying with me because I think it's the closest I'll get to a dog. The Country Show DPG02 Golden Retriever and Pup Border Fine Arts Handmade in Scotland 1995, which makes it vintage. Wow. How nice is that though? I'll show you the label on the bottom as well. Has anybody ever come across this make? I hope you can read that. It's a bit of a shiny sticker, so it's hard to read, but that is lovely. And it's it's in really lovely condition as well. There's nothing wrong with that. That is gorgeous. I love it. I'm so excited. I don't want this box to end. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> right, we've got a bag here. This is a nice bag. Let's have a look, see if I can find a mic. Sometimes there's a label inside. Oh, there is. Rowlan Handmade Fine Leather. I'm sure that's what that says. Here we go, look at that. What do we all think to this brand then? It feels gorgeous. It looks new. <laughs> it's just so good so so nice it smells you can smell the leather it reminds me of when i was a teenager and and when i was little as well and my brother paul used to come to our house um to visit and he wore his biker jacket his leather jacket it smells like that it's like really like nostalgia <laughs> that is a lovely bag really nice i have no idea how much i will list any of this for um as i said i have literally just opened this now so i haven't had any time for research or anything like that <laughs> okay so it says here handmade everything considered with compliments of jez the second hand man lovely right okay let's have a look what's this another thing in a bag i love the way the clothes are in these bags i've been wanting to get bags like this but i want ones that are biodegradable and um, environmentally friendly and they're just so expensive levi's red tab large oh this is a gilet a levi's gilet that's nice that's lovely so is that a men's or a women's kind of looks women's to me but i don't know does it say anywhere let's have a look made in china levi strauss polyester made in the uk um yeah i don't know it says red tab Red tab large. Now, for that to be a large, I think that has got to be a woman's, hasn't it? What do you think? That's definitely a lady's gilet. It's very nice anyway. It's got the little red Levi's tab there. I'm loving this. I'm really excited. <laughs> really excited. Yeah, this is great. Right. What else we got? Oh, this is heavy. So like a doorstop, a Christmas doorstop. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. Tartan reindeer. It's very heavy. That'd be really nice for 
Christmas time, won't it? I think that'll go really well. That is lovely. <laughs> Fred Flintstone. Oh, I love the Flintstones. 1999 Warner Brothers Studio Store. That's cool. You know, I've never seen a Flintstones teddy. So that's really cool. Love that. I mean, that's got to be worth at least £10, surely. Again, though, I'm going to have to do my research. Who's this guy? Postman Pat Hand Puppet. <laughs> it's Ted. Um, this is from 2006. Look at him. He should go well at Christmas. I mean, Postman Pat is still a thing, isn't it? So, uh, yeah, I think he is cool as. Oh, what's this then? What is this? Polly Pocket. Oh my goodness. Right, this is all me. All about me. Love Polly Pocket. 2019. Mattel. Look at that. Little handbag. I love it. Let me see if I can open it. You know, I, I'm really rubbish at opening kids' stuff. Things that children find easy to open. Julie does not. There we go. Twist. Oh, it's got figures. Oh, it's got figure. It's got a little Polly Pocket. And it's got, oh, it's a playground. And there's like a little scooter. Oh, this is fab. I think this is my favourite thing so far. And it's probably worth the least. But I love that. Look at that. That is gorgeous. <laughs> How lovely is that? Wow, I love Polly Pocket. That's amazing. Okay, what we got here? We got oh, it's a mug. <laughs> That's so cool. Cookata. Yeah, Cookata mug. So it's got Auto Speed King repair, and then it's got the handle as the front of a moped or a scooter whatever you want to call it and then the helmet right there how nice is that isn't that lovely wow there's the label on the bottom that is really really nice and it's come all over wrapped up right what else we got there's something else over here in bubble wrap Oh, oh wow, I have no idea what this is, it's like a, is it a baby or a little child made on like a mattress with a leg in the air, <laughs> that's really cute, I don't know what this is, there is a sticker on it, it says made in Italy, um, but I don't think there's any markings apart from that. But sometimes I do miss them. So we'll have to... I'll do a Google Lens on that. But that's that's really sweet. It's got to be like, yeah, like a novelty gift type thing, hasn't it? Right. This is cool. An X-Shot Zuru 16 Bullet Dino Striker. And there's eggs in it as well. <laughs> This might be being put away for my son for Christmas because he loves these type of things. Um, what age does it have on it? Age 8 plus, yeah. He has got some Nerf guns, but this sort of thing is right up his alley. So that might be something we keep. But I'll discuss it with Rob because sometimes I make these decisions and then it's like, really wish I hadn't, <laughs> you know. Oh, what's in here? Cushion. So this is Paw Patrol, isn't it? Pillow Pets Pee Wees. Pillow Pets. Oh, it's not Paw Patrol. Or is it? It's got to be Paw Patrol, surely. It doesn't say Paw Patrol on it, but then I wonder if it does on here. Yeah, it's not branded Paw Patrol. Just Pillow Pets. Fantastic Limited. Well, that has got to be. Is it Chase out of Paw Patrol? 
haven't even seen one of these before. It's a little lumpy. Yeah, these have got to be Paw Patrol because that's the other one. Dexter's got some of these, unless these are unofficial ones because they're pillow pets. Anyone saw these before? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, they're a bit on the lumpy side, like they've been washed, but still cool, still cool. Somebody might want them. I'll put them back in there. But yeah, they're, they're cute. Very cute. Then what we've got here? Got another bag. What's in here? Ooh, looks like a dress. Joanna Hurt. Oh, it's like a suede. It's a suede dress in this lovely pink colour. Look at that. Let's see what size it is. Size 16. And the material is polyester elastin, but it feels like suede. It's like the suede effect. And it's also like a wrap effect skirt. That's lovely really nice that should go for about 15 as long as there's no marks on it it looks really good um like the same looks at it properly but i will do i will do right what we've got here this looks like another dress Let's have a look. i'm really enjoying doing this i think it's really cool it's such a fun video to do for both i think the person that's doing it and for people watching Lipsy London, love Michelle Keegan. Oh, that's pretty. It's one of these look with like a high rise neck, but then you've got your cut out sleeves and the sweetheart neckline. Um, this is a maxi dress as well. It's lovely. Now I haven't sold any of Michelle Keegan's Lipsy dresses, but I mean, Lipsy normally goes for around £15 for me. But that might go for a little more. Right, what we've got here? Got two things that look the same, so I'm pulling them out together. Puma and Dunlop, I think that is. Is it Dunlop? It might not be, actually. Let me do this one first. So this looks like a hoodie. It's a Puma size extra large yeah it's a hoodie a grey hoodie with this like netted material let's see what it is let's see what material it is um it's got a qr code in it i know that it's polyester um no it doesn't really say anything about it but that that's nice probably like that good size as well yeah nice puma hoodie i'll pop that back in there and then we've got this one yeah it's not dunlop julie it is champion <laughs> honestly size large champion size large and another hoodie but it's like a camo one camouflage with the greys really really nice I mean, I don't do too well with Champion, but Rob does. So I think that shows that Champion is really quite good in men's, but not always the best in women's. Or maybe I just price it too high. I don't know. Oh, now this is nice. A Jewel's toiletry bag. That is lovely. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's got nice big compartments. That's lovely that. It's like a real hard wearing one. It's got like a hard shell, which you don't usually get on toiletry bags. They're usually soft. So if anything breaks inside, you know, <laughs> um, it's not really well protected. But with something like this, it's really cool. Oh, there's another bag in here. So this has got a big bit inside. And then there's another bag inside here. <laughs> and another bag <laughs> inside here <laughs> and another bag inside here okay this could go on for some time another bag <laughs> another bag 
Oh my goodness, that is lovely. Yeah, nothing in that one. We've got to the end. So you've got one, two, three, four, five bags. I've got a suspicion that they don't go with this, but it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean, that's really cute. <laughs> I love that. That was fun. I was like, how many bags? How many? Yeah, these are really nice. They're, um, I'm not sure whether they're vintage or not, but they're cute. I've never seen that before. All these bags inside a bag, inside a bag. They're really nice. Yeah, love this. Jules bag. Um, I don't know how much these will go for, but it's got to be good on it. It's got the hard shell. Yeah, well, at least, at least five to ten, won't it? That is it, guys. That is it. That is it. I say it like there isn't a lot. There's loads. Love this. I think my favourite thing... I don't even know. Let me have a look. I'm going to go through it all again. I've got the hoodies. Um, my favourite thing is probably never going to be the clothes. I don't <laughs> Unless it was something like really good. I don't tend to like clothing that much. Um... I do like it for what I sell it for, but yeah, it's not always great. I think that my favourite things have to be, I love the dogs, I absolutely love those, I think they are gorgeous. Um, the Polly Pocket, because it's just cool, I love that, and I really like this bag. This bag is really, really nice and it smells unbelievable. Um, the mug's cool as well. I love everything. Um, the scooter, I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, brilliant. I'm really, really chuffed with this. Thank you, no, you have outdone yourself. I was not expecting all of this. I'm really excited to let you know how much I get for it all and thank you so much for reaching out to me and suggesting this. Um, I th I'm hoping it's been a good video for everybody. Let me know. Um, I just, I love this, absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. I'm not gonna put it back in the box because I'm worried I'm gonna break it. We know I have previous, unfortunately. Um, the PlayStation chair is really cool as well. I haven't seen one of those. I don't know how much that'll go for because things like that can go for quite a lot, but then also the don't. So we'll see. But the scooter is really cool. If my son didn't have one of those, we'd be keeping that definitely, but he's already got a scooter. So I will probably list that and expect it to go at Christmas or someone might buy it for their kid's birthday if I list it for the right price. I mean, it's a bargain, isn't it? Um bargains on ebay always a good thing but yeah let me know what you think of the video and if you want me to do more like this let me know um i'm excited i'm excited i think it'd be really cool so massive shout out to noel matthews for doing this for me he messaged me last week suggesting that i did this um offered to send me the box and yeah i'm just i'm really 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 happy with it so noel Thank you, and I hope you've enjoyed this video as well. I hope you've enjoyed my reactions. They are genuine, and yeah, I'm just really excited. I've got a lot to be getting on with now. I've still got all of the stock from my last two videos that I've put stock on the videos, what I've bought. I have been so unbelievably busy with the kids and birthdays and other things, other commitments that I've just really took listing, well listing's been put on the back burner, so I've got a big death pile now, which you will all find hysterical because I don't have a death pile ever, it's very rare I have one, now I have one, or should we say money pile, it's a money pile isn't it, it's not a death pile, but yeah, I, ne I never have one, everything is always listed, so now I'm going to spend the next few days because we're not buying any more stuff I don't think for a bit so I say a bit probably till Friday 
bearing in mind this video i'm doing this now on monday um yeah we'll probably go out again on friday we'll see but yeah i'm excited i'm excited to get all this on so as i always say if there's anything you like the look of pop me a message on instagram if you want to be nosy and see how much i put this stuff on for and when i actually list it um you can follow my shop and follow rob shops the links are on my channel i'm, I'm just overwhelmed i'm so grateful thank you no i know i keep saying it but thank you i'm so chuffed i can't wait to show rob all this because obviously he hasn't seen any of it and he's downstairs with the kids so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get him to come up and have a look through it rather than carry it down because it's heavy and i must say when when this came this morning i did a video message to know and i said to him thank you so much you are really naughty because i thought he was going to send me a small box with a few bits in um i said you're really naughty you've sent me all this stuff but i'm really grateful i haven't opened it yet i promised which i haven't this was the first time i've opened it and i said rob wanted me to tell you that i made him carry it in because it was left at the back door and i made him open the door as well <laughs> Uh, the door was open we've got a slidey door but it wasn't open quite enough and i just kind of went off because i was busy doing something and he went thanks for getting the door for me julie <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm gonna say i don't think sometimes but yeah I'm, I'm so incredibly grateful for this so thank you and yeah let's see what it all goes for anyway if you've enjoyed the video you know the drill thumbs up please it helps me out subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell for notifications when my next one is and i'll see you on the next one um any questions or anything you want to put in the comments do it and i will cover it on a later video take care be kind stay safe ta-ta guys